because we are going to be doing this amazing look which is mommy friendly i mean some people may think that this is a bit much but to me i am no makeup guru i think doing makeup is so hard i don't care like i can paint i can draw i can do all of that but when it comes to makeup and blending and just creating unique looks it's just not me okay so if you are one of those girls who feel like they cannot do makeup I feel like this tutorial will be awesome for you it's definitely beginner friendly okay the first thing I do which I did off camera is I prime my face and then I go in with my favorite concealer from LA girl pro brows I use my dip brow pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm pretty sure everybody has heard about this uh, this stuff is bomb I just recently hit the glass at the bottom um but this is in chocolate I've been using this forever I don't know it says you can keep this for six months and I'm telling you like once you open it it's good for six months and I'm telling you this lasts for six months or more and I keep it okay I go in with this NYX corrector conceal conceal correct contour palette and this angled brush so precise and strong so I can use this brush any way I want and it just makes my lines so freaking precise and I have a coupon code for this I will put it on the screen right here and also in the description box if you guys want to get these brushes it's actually a brush set Vanity Planet brushes. It comes in this amazing set. They're dirty, of course, because we just use them. But you get a little bit of everything in here. Once you have the perfect shape for your brows, go in with a brush to blend everything out. That will give you that gradient effect at the front of the brows. And also, by the time you're done your brows, it'll be time for you to go ahead and blend out your concealer. It should be nice and tacky and full coverage by now. This is Maybelline Master Conceal. And the color I use is in 50 Medium. So this is really good for highlight, not so much for concealer in my opinion. And although it looks really dark on the packaging, it comes out lighter. So if you do go pick this up, make sure you know that this is not as dark as it looks. It's way lighter. Don't be afraid, I'll let you fall, girl. is this Ben Nye banana powder this one is a bit light for my complexion but I like it to be light to really lighten up my under eye area I've recently started setting my eyelids as well and I've noticed that it makes blending your eyeshadow so much easier you definitely have to try that trick the next time you do your makeup And this one is by Black Radiance, right from Walmart, very inexpensive. And I like to apply both of those with another sponge. This palette right here is so dope. This is from um, Walmart, and this is also Black Radiance. And 
I used the heck out of this palette. I used it to contour. I used this as a transition shade. And then I used this as a highlight. So this is, you definitely need this. You need this in your life, okay? If you're going to highlight, I think it's very important for you to contour as well because this is the part that actually brings color back into your face. You don't want to be looking all pasty and just, you know, one color. You need some definition. A lip injection. I like using this because it really moisturizes my lips and plumps them up. this amazing set of eyeshadows <gasps> but yes this is Shea Mitchell I used to love pretty little liars oh my gosh but they sent me all these little eyeshadow palettes we are going to be using the palette ablaze and this is so freaking beautiful these colors are so freaking bomb they are so cute perfect for our skin tone our skin tone I really love this whole palette Once you have your transition shade, you may want to go on top of that with a darker color only on the outer corners of your eyes. And you just have to blend for your life until these two colors look so seamless. That is like the best way I can describe getting that makeup artist kind of eyeshadow look. At this point, go ahead and put some glue um, to the side so it can start to dry for your lashes. I feel like in a lot of tutorials, a lot of the blending is basically deleted from the footage, but you literally have to blend forever to get that blended look. Like there's no, you know, trick to get this done quicker. Um, so you just have to keep blending until you get the look that you're going for. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off that lip injection lip gloss. I don't wear, I mean sometimes I do wear it out, but not for this. I just wanted to plump my lips up. I added matte cork lip liner for just a brown transition shade. And we're going to be using this Smashbox lippy. And this is in In Demand. Too Faced Melted in Sugar Pie. So the NYX Mega Shine lip gloss which is also in sugar. So adding these on top of the Smashbox Lippy did everything for me. I also use MAC Cork a Lip Liner. My favorite mascara, you guys, is this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Lately, I haven't really been into doing a cat eye or just wearing liner at all. So I've been using basically a darker eyeshadow to give that illusion of eyeliner or a wing liner. Um, but really subtle because I don't know, I just haven't really been into it. I use these are the Ardell Wispies and they are amazing definitely these are at Ulta as well some of some local beauty supply stores as well so yeah spray I like a matte look I don't want to look shiny and crazy so I always use this I spray a ton of it this gives you that flawless skin like look so you don't look so cakey and just 
but yeah you guys this is my makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this video because pretty much i wear my makeup the same every single day so i didn't want it to be like repetitive but this is a little bit different because i did add some different eyeshadow Today was all about Smashbox. I used the Smashbox eye palette, which this one is in a blaze. A lippy is called In Demand. I think that these two together are amazing. Let me fix my hair. Come on, part. Don't be embarrassing me. I'm trying to get better at blending my wig parts, y'all. It's a struggle. That is it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you want more makeup tutorials like this. And I got you because I have so many other um, eyeshadow palettes that I need to try out. So we can try some different color combinations and whatnot. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. And if you guys miss us as far as the family vlogs, which they will still be put up once a week. Um, but if you miss us and you want to see us daily, follow us on Snapchat because oh, our Snapchat is basically a big vlog like 24-7. I am like obsessed <laughs> with Snapchat, so follow us. Um, but anyway, I'll see you in our next video. Goodbye, girls. Mwah. BTW, if you guys are into what I'm wearing today, what I want to be like glam with my face, I try to like dress down. So I just have on this burgundy sweatshirt and I have not did, did a video on these yet. <laughs> these freaking shoes are bomb. These are the Velvet um, Jordans, the Ares collection. Yo. I was thinking about um, myself and Hey Curly. Um, she actually got the got the 11s. These are the ones. She got the 11s, and I was like, we should do a collab together um, for our hair and outfit of the day. But yes, y'all. So whenever I'm full glam, I dress down. That's just I like being, you know. And I just have one. So I just have one. Some leggings, a white shirt, and these Jordans. For my purse, I just rock this to have like a pop of color that is different than this burgundy color scheme. <laughs> this water bottle is called Wellness. I got it from Marshalls. I was trying to get out of the store and you know how it is. At the checkout line, they have all that cute stuff up there. So I saw this and was like, I need to drink more water. So I like cold water. This keeps it cold. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now to edit. Oh my god. It's gonna be all over the place. Who wanna help me edit?